Applicants from KMTC have up to 31st August 2018 to apply. Mark Namaswa, KTN News. So debate over the controversial sugar report is just not dying down. A section of Western Kenya legislators are now pushing for the reintroduction of the recently shot down sugar report for fresh debate. And as Murimi Mwangi now tells us, calls to resuscitate the controversial report came even as ANC leader Musale Mudavadi renewed his calls for a judicial inquiry into contraband sugar as a lasting solution. It has been a messy week for Parliament with legislators swimming in the mud of graft over reports that some members of the National Assembly could have been bribed with as little as 10,000 shillings to shoot down a report on contraband sugar. Oh, okay. And now, a group of Western Kenya legislators are pushing to have the bitter sugar report debated afresh in the House. We do that with the mind of our farmers and the recommendation in that report that we hold with high esteem which has a lot to do with our farmers. Our farmers are in total suffering. They cannot be able to sell their cane. Standing Order 49-2B allows any member to table a motion to rescind the previous decision of the House with the permission of the Speaker. But a section of the legislators are skeptical on calls for fresh sugar debate. It's already been rejected. Do they expect a different outcome? I think uh, let the investigative agencies do their work, the DCI, together with the DPP and EACC. I think they can work around it and KRA. Whether it will suffer the same fate or not is really up to the, 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 the members of parliament. Because we have an opportunity really to look at this report, to look at what the committee is saying, to read the report and reread it and see if the areas we need to make amendments to, let us make amendments on the floor as per procedure. <laughs> but ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi argues that the cure to the perennial sugar scandal can only be found through a commission of inquiry. And this is solely in the hands of His Excellency the President. He has the constitutional powers to set up such an entity so that the bottom of this can, come, can be dealt with and proper solutions even that can guide policy and legislation going forward can be done. Nevertheless, the image of the 12th parliament has been greatly dented by the graft allegations and the spotlight 